from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. <laughs> Welcome back. Jordan Goodell's Kyle Finney from the East Texas Communities Foundation. Early giving officially started for East Texas Giving Day. Kyle, thank you so much for being back in with us this morning. Hey, thanks for having me, Jed, and thanks for covering all these great nonprofits. The, the stories are just tremendous. I wish I had five minutes to sit down with each of them, but appreciate the work y'all are doing, highlighting the great work these oh, nonprofits absolutely. are doing. Absolutely, and you know, I told you in the break, every one of them just an absolute pleasure to be able to sit down and talk and also just hear the stories of the impacts that they're trying to make uh, on folks here in East Texas. Yeah. Uh, I do want to have you go over because believe it or not, there's still people <laughs> who have not heard of East Texas Giving Day. Uh, just give us a quick rundown of uh, what it's about. Yeah, so this is year number eight. East Texas Giving Day is an 18 hour online event, so it can't be affected by the weather, no matter what Andrew <laughs> does to us. Um, and it, people are able to go on that website, EastTexasGivingDay.org, mm -hmm. search for charities. There's 348 organizations participating this year and make uh, contributions. Those contributions will go directly to those charities. So you're picking who gets the money. It doesn't just go in a pool and get divided up, up among everybody. You get to pick the charities that are uh, important to you, that are affecting your neighborhood, that are issues that are uh, of interest to you. All right, well, uh, giving day on the 25th, but Kyle, I'm busy that day. How do I get around that? You can start today, okay. Judd, you are in luck. <laughs> you can go to that site right now. The leaderboard's live. It started on Monday, so it's it's ticking up the dollars right now, so you can go find those charities and make contributions today. You can you know, kind of use it like a shopping cart, too. You can pick more than one charity uh, in a single transaction, so you can go pick up uh, two or three charities in your hometown and, and uh, uh, search for an organization that really is working in the area that's uh, of great interest to you. Well, we were looking at the leaderboard just there on your screen and y'all made it very easy to be able to find an organization in our county that we want to give uh, just a search bar on there, right? Yeah, for example, uh, a couple of ladies that were on earlier, Rock Bottom Ranch, you could type in Rock Bottom, hit search, and it'll bring them up. Uh, you can also find additional information about each one of these organizations through that Giving Day uh, search feature. So you can find out specific contact information. If you want to call them up, if you want to go make a visit, all those organizations have loaded that information in there so you can find out as much as you want about them, not just uh, uh, giving, but certainly giving is important. Uh, the other feature that's live now that started on Monday is the celebration pages. Oh yeah. So on each one of these organizations page, you can uh, go on there, learn more about them and actually set up your own fundraiser. So if you want to help Rock Bottom Ranch raise $500, you can say, hi, I want to start Judd's page for Rock Bottom Ranch and, uh, and they'll start tracking and you can get your friends involved and see if you can hit a $500 goal to help them meet their, meet their larger goal. Well, that's a really great way to be able to feel like you're really getting involved more than just raising money or uh, don donating money yourself, but yeah. really just joining. Giving is that. all about storytelling. How did an organization impact you and how do you want to share that with friends? That's what Giving Day is all about. Giving usually takes place pretty quietly and pretty <laughs> privately, but Giving Day is an opportunity to to tell stories about how organizations are impacting their communities and get others involved. All right, really quickly, what is the goal that we're trying to hit this year? Yeah, so this year we want to do better than last year. Uh -huh. We did 2.9 million last year. We've got 52 more charities participating this year. So I think we're gonna go over that $3 million mark, but uh, it's up to all the folks out there. All right, you can make an impact here. Of course, we've got to know where we can give. Tell us the website one more time. EastTexasGivingDay.org. You'll find everything you need there. All right, Kyle, we appreciate it. We're looking forward to see if we can hit that goal this year. Great. Thanks, Jed. Of course, stick around. Up next, we have a final look at that 7-day forecast with Andrew. Stay with us.